keep coming back to this theme of engagement. Throwing this out to the group, how has being engaged as a member of LMA benefited you in your careers? How is it not? Yeah, I mean, look at all the people. I mean, you can just look around this table. This is a prime example of, I know that I wouldn't have the job I have at Jones Day today if not for my friends at LMA looking out for new opportunities for me and calling me and saying, hey, there's this great opportunity at Jones Day. I think you would be a great fit. You should apply. Um, And learning then from from my LMA friends about how to be a better legal marketer. Just the mentorship and the networking and the guidance and mm-hmm. the ability to pick up the phone and call people you don't even know mm-hmm. and request yeah. or something. I mean, the fact that we're even sitting here, I, there's a there's a presence and an awareness that this association gives so many of us that I don't know what I would get other places. And, and like you, I mean, my current role at Clark Hill is because I'm very connected to Megan McKeon and we presented in San Diego several years ago on, on a quick start panel and later got a chance to work together. So, I mean, I think those relationships can literally benefit your career and give you new opportunities and take you up to the next platform. The other thing too is given our geographic diversity, like there's an opportunity for for me to learn from others, not just in my marketplace Mm -hmm. um, or in a firm of my size at at Freed Frank. It's really listening to what are people doing on the West Coast? Mm -hmm. What are people doing in Australia? And we've got international members. It's those types of of tidbits that I can Mm -hmm. add to what I'm doing. And it's something that the partners might not have have seen before, or my, frankly, my boss might not have seen before, mm-hmm. that I really think has um, helped me elevate. The other thing, too, we talk about networking, we talk about um, the people we meet, it's the support, right? And being mm-hmm. able to pick up that phone to um, get the mentorship, get the guidance, and just sometimes to have the confidence to, mm-hmm. to take a leap, to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And that resonates with the partners. When you go in and you really own the opportunity to be a business advisor, mm-hmm. to them, they're gonna listen. And they're well, gonna take what you say and a, run with it. I think the other thing that it gives us is legitimacy. In any other industry, marketing is seen as just an essential job function. Marketing, we don't like to admit it, I, I, is still seen somehow as, as an option in legal. Uh, and and some, to some, a novelty. That we're the ones who will reformat their mm-hmm. PowerPoint slides, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And that's, we know that we are capable of so much more. And so being part of this association, the information we're able to bring back, the comparative information we're able to bring back, and also the leadership that we're able to exhibit because attorneys do respond to titles and recognition. And so when we can come back and say, you're president-elect, treasurer-elect, whatever it might be, they go, oh, wow, you know, you're, you're, a, you're a shiny diamond. I'm like, I certainly am, you know, and you just, that's great. You know, that, that, that helps, it helps you really uh, achieve what you need to achieve in your career, I think. But you're not just the president-elect of the Kelly McKinnon fan club. Like, you're the president-elect <laughs> right. of the Legal Marketing Association, which is a global association mm-hmm. that involves legal marketers of all, you know, sizes and shapes and different responsibilities and firms throughout the globe at this point. And... I think the professional development that the association offered on top of the network and the and the socializing and the learning, but the professional development itself, like yeah. I am learning from my colleagues and from mm-hmm. professionals in the industry that have been around for however right. long right. doing this at their firms. And you know, I, I joked at the new colleague that joined our firm recently and I said, legal marketers like attorneys have not had an original thought in years. We just put new spins on things that work best for us and the personalities of our firms and our attorneys because most times you know we work for the willing and the ones that want to have our witchcraft help them with not just their PowerPoint slides right and the professional development that we get from the association and learning from each other and I can see what you're doing at Clark Hill in Detroit which may not work for me at Buchanan Ingersoll and Rooney in Philadelphia but there's something that I can change right. from what you're doing in Detroit or in Texas, mm-hmm. or in Atlanta, wherever it may be, that works great for my market, my target, my mm-hmm. clients, yeah. who are not just my attorneys, but also the external clients. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I get all that from the association. Mm-hmm.